Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. And today we're talking about 10 tips to lose five pounds quickly. And some of these may come as a bit of a surprise. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I've lost 140 pounds and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly or if you need a little bit of accountability, links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about the top 10 tips to lose five pounds quickly. want that number on the scale to move in the right direction, there are two key factors that are going to get you there. Number one is food and number two is movement. And today we're going to put this together and I'm going to share with you 10 tips on how to get off five pounds quickly. And all of these 10 tips you can use throughout your entire weight loss journey. Some of these things you may never have thought about before that can really be instrumental on you reaching your weight loss goal. So let's jump into it. Number one is to use smaller plates and bowls. We are very visual eaters. We like our food to look pretty and we also are volume eaters. At, in nature as human beings, we wanna eat as much food as we can to help us feel full and satisfied. So when we use big dinner plates or big deep bowls, we load it up with our favorite foods which can lead to overconsumption of calories, which can lead to weight gain or stop us from losing weight overall. Your best bet is to use smaller plates and bowls. For me, I typically use salad size plates for my meals and I use just smaller, shallower bowls whenever I need a bowl for a meal or a snack. This is going to give our this is going to give the illusion that you're eating a lot, even though because your plate or your bowl is full, but you're eating probably half what you would eat if you put this on a larger plate or in a larger bowl. So utilize those smaller plates and bowls for success. Number two, prep your food in advance. This is something I talk about a lot. This is something I have done throughout my entire weight loss journey that has been a big contributing factor to my success. I meal prep every week. I make breakfast, a lunch, and a snack so that I have healthy foods on hand. Now, if you're not a meal prepper, one thing you can do to really help benefit your weight loss is to have prepped foods on hand that you didn't prep yourself. Buy pre-cut up fruits and vegetables, buy pre-shredded chicken, things that make your life easier, things that are ready to go, that are on hand to help you reach your goals. Setting yourself up for success by doing a little bit of prepping in advance can be huge in losing weight. Number three, replace a lot of the processed foods that you're eating with whole foods. Now this doesn't mean that you have to eliminate processed foods altogether. Follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 whole real food, 20% processed foods. I mean, honestly, frozen fruit and vegetables are processed. So it's really hard, if not impossible, to eliminate processed foods, but you can really cut down, especially on ultra processed foods like breads, chips, crackers, and cookies, and really focus on a whole food diet. It's going to help you get in fiber, protein, nutrients, vitamins, keep you fuller for longer, and help you reach your goals quickly. Number four, get enough sleep. This is something I've talked about time and time again here on my channel. The whole beauty sleep is a real thing. When we don't get enough sleep and we lack energy from lack of sleep, our body wants fast acting processed carbohydrates and sugar to give us energy. It's just what happens naturally with our body. When we're run down and tired, our body needs energy and that's in the form of processed foods. So you may not even be a processed food eater, but if you're not getting enough sleep, your body's naturally going to crave those foods. It doesn't crave broccoli. It craves fast acting carbs and sugar. So getting ultimately eight to nine hours of sleep a night is best, but never ever get less than seven hours of sleep. This is where we can get into trouble with lack of sleep. Number five, add cardio and weights to your exercise routine. Don't be a cardio queen. Don't go do hours and hours of cardio and do zero strength training. Strength training, in my opinion, is more important than cardio. Yes, cardio is going to give you a calorie burn. Yes, cardio is going to lead to weight loss, but strength training with cardio is going to trans 
transform your body. You're going to maintain and build lean muscle, which burns calories sitting on your behind, doing absolutely nothing. And like I always say, someone can be the same height in the same weight and look completely different. If one person's a cardio queen and one person does strength training and cardio, this person's going to look smaller, leaner, and healthier. And this person can oftentimes look bigger, flabbier, and heavier, even though they weigh the exact same and are the same height. So if you're going to do any activity, make it strength training. The optimal activity for weight loss and keeping that weight off and building lean muscle, do cardio and strength training together. Do cardio two to three times a week and strength training three to four times a week. Number six is put down that alcoholic beverage. Now I know this may not be music to a lot of your ears, but alcohol really is empty calories. Whenever we consume alcohol, whether it's wine, beer, mixed drinks, hard alcohol, it immediately turns to sugar in our body and spikes our blood sugar. Alcohol not only is empty calories, but is also strictly a carbohydrate. And what happens when we drink alcohol? our inhibitions are lowered. We typically don't make the best life choices and we typically don't make the best food choices when we're consuming alcohol. So it can really have a detrimental effect on your weight loss overall. Now, am I saying that you can never have an adult beverage again? Absolutely not. I'm just saying limit your alcohol consumption for weight loss. Like I said, it can really inhibit weight loss. Number seven is to drink water before meals. Now drink water all day long, get in at least 64 ounces to a gallon of water every day. But one of those tips you may not know about is if you drink water about 30 minutes before you consume a meal, studies show that you are less likely to consume more calories. Your, the water is going to fill up a portion of your stomach, leading you to eat less at meals, therefore eating less calories, being in a calorie deficit, and therefore losing weight. So have a glass of water about 30 minutes before a meal, and on the same token, wait about 30 minutes after you eat to consume water. You want your body to be able to digest that food and allow those nutrients to absorb before flushing it out with some extra water. But drinking water before a meal has been proven time and time again to lead to consuming less calories, therefore leading to weight loss. Number eight is hold the salt. Now again, salt is not bad. Our bodies need salt to thrive and be healthy and to live every single day. But by adding excess salt to your food, you can see weight gain in the form of a weight fluctuation, salt, water retention on the scale. And this can lead to some damaging mental thoughts about weight loss. Weight fluctuation is totally normal. When you're on a weight loss journey, it's not going to do this. It's often going to do this and it's going to do a lot of this. And the more salt that you eat, the more the scale does this. Not necessarily that you're gaining weight or fat, but that the excess salt and sodium is showing up as weight gain or weight fluctuation on the scale, which can play my games with us. So even though we need salt to survive, limit the amount of salt that you're adding in addition to what's recommended by the FDA for salt intake daily. Number nine, kick up your HIIT training, high intensity interval training. In my opinion, this is the best way to exercise for weight loss. HIIT training involves your heart rate to skyrocket, your heart rate to level out, and then your heart rate to drop off and repeat, skyrocket, level, drop, skyrocket, level, drop. This is including cardio, strength training. This is truly the best way, the biggest bang for your exercise buck. You're getting in your cardio, you're getting in your strength training, you're elevating your heart rate, you're leveling out your heart rate, you're allowing it to drop down as needed, and it really does a body good. HIIT training is really the way to go and the most comprehensive exercise for weight loss. Pump it up by increasing your weights, increasing your cardio, increasing your movement in general during your HIIT workouts to see the biggest results. Now, I am a boot camper. I go to boot camp three days every week, which is a HIIT training workout. That boot camp alone has transformed my body. It has increased my cardiovascular system, it's increased my endurance, and it's really changed my body. Highly, highly recommend HIIT training. See if you can find a class or a boot camp in your area, or Google HIIT training exercise exercises or activities, even for beginners on the internet, and do HIIT training. It really makes a big difference in your body and weight loss. And number 10 is increase your veggies. Vegetables are a low density, high volume food, which means you can eat lots and lots of them for very little calories, but there's a lot of vitamins, minerals, fiber, water, nutrients in vegetables, so eat them. For me, I do not track 
non-starchy vegetables. I don't track them. I don't count them towards my calorie goal every day because nobody got fat eating vegetables. Eat them freely. Now, of course, I track starchy vegetables, potatoes, corn, peas, squash. I track those things, but non-starchy vegetables, eat them and eat them to your heart's content because all of the benefits that you get from them, nutrients, minerals, vitamins, the fact that they keep you full for and keep you, the fact that they make you full is part of your meals and keep you fuller for longer is a big benefit of vegetables. So eat as much vegetables as you want during the day for faster weight loss. So those are the top 10 tips to lose five pounds fast. Let me know down below which of these are you going to incorporate into your weight loss journey to see success. And also let me know which of these may have surprised you a little bit. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you reach your goals. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite healthy things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.